Hi, this is Kevin from Pinnacle Eco Clean in Rochester, New York. We're your source for fine rug and fabric care. Today we thought we would take a moment to talk about fabric protection, primarily regarding wool, oriental, and area rugs. Now the same information could apply equally as well to your wall-to-wall -wall carpet, as well as the upholstered furniture in your home or office. But our slant really is to show you how it can work so well on your wool rugs in your home. The primary uh, product that we use is called a floral chemical protector. It can be a water-based protector in the case of most Scotchgard products, or it could also be a solvent-based protector in the case of one protector that we carry uh, called an ultimate UV protector, which provides a protection scheme like that of Scotchgard, but with the added benefit of a UV blocker that helps protect your rugs against things like ultraviolet light degradation. So what these protectors will do is they will help protect your uh, rug or fabric from things like soft drink spills as well as from dry soil. Uh, we might normally think of the spill uh, as being the big thing that you can see very readily when you spill something on a rug and how it might beat up on that rug and be able to be blotted off. But really, it can't be overstated, the protection available with dry soil removal. Uh, since the article is protected, soils will be less likely to stick to the rug or piece of fabric, be less likely to be embedded in there, or they might uh, start to degrade the fiber because they're, they're very abrasive in nature. So it really assists the vacuuming and allow these materials to be vacuumed out of your rug or carpet, therefore making it last longer. So why are these products so good for wool rugs? Well, when you think about it, a product like wool or silk or cotton that rugs are quite often made out of today, uh, those materials are highly absorbent materials and they're natural fibers as well. Being the way that these are made then, these materials can attract the soil or the oils or the spills and hang on to them and not readily uh, release them. Many of these products may have dyes in them which will strike the rug therefore making uh, the stain much harder to get out. So the protection that we apply adds an added level of security so that you can feel confident when you're entertaining your guests that they won't ruin your rugs. We have a little demonstration prepared for you that we can show you to show you how effective this product really is. What we have prepared here for you uh, for demonstration purposes are just two paper towels. One of them is treated with the protector, the one on your right, and the one on, the, on your left has not been treated at all. It's just a natural uh, paper towel. These are really good things to illustrate uh, how well a protector works because when you think about it, uh, they do television advertising for uh, paper towels, calling them quicker picker uppers and so forth. So uh, it's a highly absorbent material. It'll be interesting to see how well the protector will work in such a case. So we just simply have an eyedropper here uh, filled with iced tea, which obviously is a product that would stain a carpet very readily if it was allowed to. As you can see on the uh, part where the protector has been applied, it simply beads up on the, on the paper towel not allowing it to penetrate the fiber, but it instantly penetrates the material, the paper towel, in the case of it being untreated. Now I've let this sit here already for several seconds, and it still has beaded up. We'll actually roll around on the fiber, move around, and if we take a just a Kleenex, we can blot that material up and it's virtually gone. Uh, very impressive uh, demonstration of the ability of a good fluorochemical protector. So that was really a pretty effective demonstration showing how well a good fluorochemical protector can work in protecting a wool rug. Now don't get us wrong, uh, protectors aren't bulletproof. You can't just pour something on your rug or carpet and expect it to just wipe up after letting it sit there for several hours. But what the protector will do is it will give you time. If you're able to work at it quickly, you're able to usually blot that stain up. In a worst case scenario, uh, you'll be able to call us in to have us take your rug or clean your carpet 
and it will give us a much better chance at getting that staining material out of your carpet. But that was a test, right? It wasn't really a wool rug. Let's just show the same test on an actual wool rug so we can demonstrate how effective these products really are. We have our hand-woven wool rug made in India. These rugs are flat weaves that are really very absorbent, so they will demonstrate uh, how these protectors work well on a wool rug. I chose this rug too. In addition to being absorbent, it's monochromatic in the middle here where we want to do our demonstration so you'll be able to see uh, the color of the uh, product that we're using. So we'll just take our eyedropper that we used before in our test with some iced tea and apply it to the rug and you can see that it easily just beads up on the rug. And waiting a few seconds for it to soak in. It doesn't really soak in at all. We're able to just take a Kleenex and very easily blot that material up and it's gone. Showing the effectiveness of these uh, fluorochemical protectors that we use, both water or solvent based protectors on your fine wool rugs. To conclude our video today, I thought it would take a moment to talk about the subject of lanolin. Many of our clients will decline having a protector applied to their wool rugs because they feel that there's already lanolin in the wool and that that product acts like a protector for the wool because lanolin might repel water and things like that. But is that thinking really true? Well, in point of fact, 99.7% of the lanolin that naturally occurs in the wool is removed during the scouring and cleaning process of the wool so that it can readily accept the dyes that are applied to color the wool. Also, if there was enough lanolin in the wool to act like a protector, it would be kind of oily and smelly and it would attract dirt like a magnet. Of course, that would defeat the purpose of a protector. So yes, again, we highly recommend a protection scheme for your fine wool oriental and area rugs. Thank you very much for watching. Check out one of our other videos that we will have out soon about another form of protection for your wool rugs that is a resist that we can apply to help protect against moth damage. Please feel free to check out our website or call us with any question you may have. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.